Hey guys, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a girl talk video. So as you all probably know, I've been off YouTube for the past like four weeks and I have actually got a couple reasons for that. So for the first reason was my camera actually randomly broke. I have actually had this camera for a couple years. So that's probably why I really need to update it. But the problem was it wasn't actually like importing to the MacBook so I couldn't upload any videos. I actually filmed two videos that I just couldn't upload. But I finally fixed the problem out and I'm very happy so I can start filming again. And then the other two weeks, to be honest with you, I've been so busy with school. I've been given like over seven pieces of homework a week and it's just been so much and so hard to keep on top of it and do YouTube at the same time. But I'm back and I'm finally filming again and I'm actually really excited to start filming again. But as I said, today I'm going to be filming a girl talk video. So I actually asked you guys on my Instagram loads of questions and also on my community page on YouTube. And I've got tons of questions here that I'm going to answer. So let's get on with the video. And I'm going to answer as many as I can. So if you have asked me a question, thank you so much. I've literally got so so many here and as well on my community page okay so the first question is cramp tips to be honest with you when I get my period I get really bad cramps and they don't always necessarily happen on my period it's really weird I get them just like randomly throughout the month and then I usually get them like the first three days of my period and then they go away and then I just get them like randomly throughout the month so for me personally, just a hot water bottle and some tablets. I usually take, I think it's called Feminex. And that's the um, like tablet I take when I'm on my period. And it really, really helps reduce cramps. Like it will literally go away within 10 minutes. So if I'm ever going out or I just get really bad cramps inside, I always take Feminex or any sort of other like paracetamol to help calm it down because that's really the only way that it really calms down for me because sometimes it can be real bad. Okay, the next one is tips on self-confidence. I know self-confidence can be really, really hard, especially when you're in school and you've got tons of people to compare yourself to. Like a year ago, I really wasn't that confident and I'm still not that confident now, but I'm a lot more confident than I was like a couple years ago. And it will take a lot of time. Like it does take a lot of time to build up your confidence and you've just got to stop comparing yourself to other people. You've just got to think, this is me. I can't change anything about it. So you may as well just like just... <laughs> There's not really something that I can pinpoint and say, this is your issue, you just need to stop thinking about this because it's hard to think about this. You think about it every day. You go on Instagram and you see tons of beautiful girls or boys and you're like, oh my God, I wish I could look like them. And it's really hard to get your self-confidence. But all I can say is it's gonna take time and you'll get there one day. Even the people that you think are literally the prettiest people in the world, they'll all struggle with self-confidence. So you just gotta think you're not alone and you are beautiful. Someone says, have you ever struggled with mental health? Don't feel like you have to answer. I'm obviously gonna answer because this is a girl talk video and I wanna be as real as I can be with you guys. You guys may not know this, but I actually do struggle with anxiety and I haven't really ever talked about it on camera before, but I do struggle with anxiety. I actually had quite bad anxiety in secondary school and now I'm homeschooled if you don't know, but I still have really bad anxiety, but it's not as bad as it was in school. I used to have, get like real bad panic attacks just because I used to be so scared of going into school and there wasn't really a thing that I could pinpoint Point. just school made me so anxious and please if you are struggling with mental health please talk to someone about it it doesn't have to be an adult or a parent or something please just speak to your friends so then you feel like you're not alone but yeah I have gone through mental health and mostly anxiety <laughs> okay so the next question is how do you deal with your period at school so my main tip, I've actually done a video ages ago on this, but please make sure you take like a little period kit. It will just help you out so much. Even if you haven't started your period, it's better to take one than not to have anything. And especially when you go into secondary school, that's the main time where you're gonna wanna take a period kit. I actually did a video on a period kit. It was literally ages ago, but just make sure you keep like some pads, some panty liners, um, some tampons if you use them. And always make sure you bring a spare pair of pants just in case anything happens, then at least you'll have a spare pair of pants with you. So if you have it in your bag, you'll feel a lot more safe. And especially when you're on your period, you know that you have everything with you. Because if you've ever been in a situation where you've started your period before and you don't have anything on you, it is so scary. Yeah, make sure you bring your period kit because sometimes it can save your life. <laughs> Okay, so next question is also to do with periods. It says, do you get mood swings? I don't think I really get that bad mood swings. Sometimes I can definitely be a little bit more irritable. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I don't think I get that bad mood swings, but my parents can probably tell you something different. <laughs> so someone said shaving. I think I started shaving when I was like 12. I started shaving like my arms and my legs when I was 12. And the way I shave is I literally just get some shaving foam or some body wash, but I make sure it's like proper lathered because you don't want to like cut yourself because that is horrible and it stings and oh, <laughs> I hate that. You can actually get some really nice shaving foams. I actually had one that was like berries and it smells amazing. Also, if you are shaving to prevent like razor bunts, make sure that you're using like a fresh razor. You don't have to use like a new razor like every time you shave, but just make sure it isn't like older than like 
two weeks. If you are shaving like your legs and your armpits, just make sure you moisturize and put like deodorant on after. But yeah, that's all I can say about shaving. But I did start when I was like 12, I think. This one says, what period products are you currently using? So at the minute, I'm using pads and tampons. I like go between the two. When I'm out, I usually use tampons, but when I'm at home, I usually use pads. And then throughout the night, I always make sure I put like a heavy um, pad on because you don't want to leave a tampon in for more than like eight hours. I'd say change your tampon like every four hours if you can. Maximum, I'd say six hours. I know everyone says that you don't want to leave it in for over eight. I just say personally, don't leave it in for over six hours. Um, I just feel like six hours the mark and then you should change it. But obviously when you go to bed, you're obviously going to be sleeping for a long period of time. So make sure you wear a pad to bed. And if you're not comfortable, then you're going to have to set an alarm to wake up and change your tampon and then go back to sleep. With my period on day one to about four, my period's really heavy. So going to bed with a pad is quite hard because sometimes you can leak. But usually I don't. My favourite brands at the minute are probably Tampax, Always and Body Form and Lil Lutz. I have like my four that I always go to. With like Lil Lutz and Body Forms, their pads are so soft. Like I don't know what they do to them, but they're literally so soft. So I love those brands. And then for tampons, I always go with Always and Tampax. But yeah, they're my favourite period products and brands at the minute. This one is advice on getting bras. So my main advice on getting bras, you probably shouldn't listen to me because I haven't actually got measured before, but you should definitely get measured before you pick out a bra because most women in the world wear the wrong size bra and I know for a fact I am, so I definitely need to get measured because I know that I'm wearing the wrong size bra at the minute because it just doesn't fit that well. Um, but if you're getting like an underwire, it makes you get fitted. And also, if you don't get measured, bras are not the most comfortable thing anyway. So if you get the wrong size, then it will be even more uncomfortable. And that's just not nice. Like, seriously, bras are the most uncomfortable thing ever. But if you are going shopping for bras, then take, like, a friend or a mum just so they can help you as well. Someone said, have you ever leaked? I have definitely leaked before. <laughs> I have a very heavy flow, as I told you guys. And yes, I've definitely leaked before. I've even leaked with a tampon in. Like, is that even normal? But it was because the tampon wasn't the right size. It was a regular and I need like a heavy one. So it just like leaked. But luckily I was at home. I don't think I've ever leaked when I've been out, which is like literally the best suck ever. But if I am wearing a pad and I'm out and I've leaked, then I just make sure that I have obviously bring my period kit and I have the stuff with me. Okay, I'm going to answer some questions from the community page now. Okay, this question says, how do you tell your parents that you have a boyfriend? I can't really answer that question because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need help with that in the future because I get quite embarrassed talking about that stuff. So, um, I can't really answer that question. <laughs> the next question says, how do you tell your mum you need more period supplies? As most of you guys know, because I have actually filmed a period video a long time ago with my mum, I actually am very open with my mum about periods. We talk about it all the time. Whenever we're on my period, we would tell each other. And the same with my dad. Like, I'm very open with him. Like, I'm not scared to tell him anything either. If I need period products, I'd ask him for it and he'd go to the shop and get me some. Like, that's just the sort of relationship that we have. I know at first sometimes it can be scary telling your mum that you started a period but when you tell her she'll be happy that you told her because then you'll feel comfortable with each other and then once you've told her about your period she'll just help you from that on and if you do need period products just go and tell her and she will definitely go and get you some because she cannot say no. <laughs> How do you balance school and YouTube with your friends and family? As you know, recently I haven't been the best with balancing YouTube and school as I have had about four weeks off YouTube. I don't know what it is about year nine, but recently we've been given so much more homework than I had been getting. And I've got to be honest with you guys, I will be posting a YouTube video every week, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to post more than once a week because... I am so busy with school at the minute. And then with my balancing YouTube and school with my friends and family, it's really easy. Friends and family are really easy to balance with school and YouTube just because obviously I'm always around my family. Like I literally, <laughs> I'm in my house 24 seven cause I'm homeschooled. And then obviously friends, I just meet up with them and go to each other's houses and stuff like that. But yeah, it is hard to deal with school and YouTube, but with family and friends, it's pretty easy. Okay, this question said, did you choose your GCSEs? I haven't actually chosen them yet, but I definitely am choosing them this year. I'm pretty sure everyone chooses their GCSEs in year nine. But no, I haven't been picking my GCSEs yet. I'm pretty sure I have a rough idea of what I want to be doing, but I will tell you guys that in a different video. Hi Emma, you are such a great person. <laughs> Thank you. How do you deal with hate and also speak about girly things around your brother and dad? Do you feel embarrassed? I've been doing YouTube for over four years now, so I definitely know how to deal with hate. And if I do get hate, I just ignore it and think, what a sad life they have. Type in on someone's thing and being mean to someone, like, pff, 
they literally don't have anything better to do it just blows my mind that people have time to just write that but if I do get hate I just ignore it and I don't really get hate that often anyway because I have such a good support and you guys are literally amazing and I don't get hate that often so thank you very much Love you. <laughs> and then also another part of the question was, how do you speak about girly things around your brother and your dad? Do you feel embarrassed? I definitely don't feel embarrassed around my dad. I mean, with my brother, it's kind of a different story. Me and my brother never talk about girly things anyway. If I am ever talking about my prayers, my brother's always just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't really talk about it with my brother, but if I ever did need to, I wouldn't be embarrassed just because we have that sort of family where I'm very open. Um, but with my dad, like I said, I'm very, I have a very good relationship with my dad, so he would literally get anything from me if I'm on my period or anything, and I'm very open about it. This one says, I'm 14 and I've not started my period. I know that I've still got a lot of time, but all my friends have and I'm embarrassed. It's literally nothing to be embarrassed about, and I know it can be when all your friends are talking about it and you are like there just like, oh, I can't really join in with this conversation because you haven't had your period yet. Sometimes you can feel a little bit embarrassed about it, but it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Like, it will happen when it happens. And it's a perfectly normal thing to not have your period at the age of 14. That's like the normal age that you'll get your period at anyway. So it will be coming very soon, but please don't feel embarrassed because there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Okay, so that was the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you guys maybe want me to do a part two of this girl talk, because there are still quite a lot of questions, please let me know and then maybe I'll do a part two soon. And again, I know that I've had four weeks off, but please, please forgive me. I'm back and I'm starting to film again and I can't wait to film more videos. And if you do have any video ideas as well, then please put them on my Instagram or my community page anywhere. I will be reading them, so please put them anywhere. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!